for printmaking, you're going to first do a test print. Uh, for test print, we're gonna use regular copy paper, and a test print is really just used to check to see if your carving is good enough for your prints. You're gonna need a little bit of newspaper to keep your block on top of. I'm using two blocks because I uh, use these in the demo, but you probably have yours double-sided. Um, and I have my white copy paper. You're also gonna need ink. Uh, we're gonna start with black, but I do have colored inks for um, different effects and obviously different color combinations. You're gonna need a roller. The proper name for the roller is a brayer. Why, I have no idea, but it's called a brayer. And that's to apply the ink. And you'll need um, a tray, okay, to put your ink on. So I'm gonna take the cap off. I'm gonna squeeze a dollop in the middle, about a quarter sized amount of ink. And then I'm gonna go back and forth. So I'm gonna lifting and rolling the ink and I'm gonna try to spread it out evenly on the brayer. So if you look, it's only shiny right now in the middle. So I want it even and thin on the brayer. So I'm gonna go in this direction. I'm lifting and rolling, not back and forth. And then I'm also gonna change directions like this. And I'm gonna lift and roll, change direction. And the ink should not be sliding around on the plate. So I have a nice, good amount of ink. It's not dry. Ink dries very quickly. So you do want to kind of work on the quick side. So now I'm going to take my turtle here, uh, my plate, and I'm going to roll a thin layer across the entire surface. And I'm going to go in both directions as well. So I'm not just sort of focusing on just the turtle. I am going in both directions, a nice thin layer across the whole thing. Then I'm gonna take my paper, and since it's a test print, I'm just gonna lay it right on top. Once it touches and makes contact, you can see if I lift this back, it's already printing. So I'm gonna let go, and hopefully that lined up still. And now I'm gonna rub the back of the paper. Lots of pressure. Some people will even use a brayer also. And then I'm gonna peel this back, and now I can check my print. So I wanna make sure that I can see, I can read the turtle, there we go. Um, you can um, compare it to your block, and you wanna say, okay, is there anything that, of these extra marks here that I can take out? Like, what if I wanted this totally white? I might go back and with the tool and pluck out those little tiny areas. Um, I'm We're gonna be making uh, your choice. Either you can do uh, a smaller sheet with maybe just one image, uh, and you can also choose to do a larger sheet with maybe both of your images printed together. Um, that's entirely up to you. We also have a colored paper for after you've done a black and white print. But it's totally your choice what size, depending on how much time you have. For my first print, I'm gonna use the um, half a sheet of paper, the smaller size, um, and I'll be able to fit nine prints on this. So I'm gonna go ahead and print uh, the turtle, and I'm gonna go this direction. And I need to re-ink my plate here, so I'm gonna squeeze, because I, I already did two prints. You can usually get two prints out of every squeeze of ink, so I'm gonna put another dollop and I have to spread that out. So I'm gonna lift and roll, lift and roll, both directions, and you can see it's not from the sheen, that it's not evenly spread out yet. You can see that on the roller too. Both directions. And that little snap, crackle, and pop, that's a good indicator that you have enough ink not too much, 
and not too little it's not sliding around but that crackle a little ASMR here that's what you want to hear that's when you know it's good to go and I'm, I always leave these um, some people like to leave it like this you can leave it off to the side for somebody else to use face up um, I'm gonna get my newspaper just so I don't get the table dirty although this washes up really easy ink is water soluble both directions I'm doing this in both directions so it will wash out of your clothes washes off the tables really easily we don't even have to scrub them both directions a couple of passes this goes down waits there for somebody else to use then I'm gonna hold this now I cannot take the paper and print it like that okay so what I'm gonna do is hold it by diagonal corners okay face down make sure it's facing the right way all right so this is gonna go down so I'm holding it by diagonal quarters I'm gonna use these fingers okay these fingers here to kind of help me uh, stay above my paper and line it up to that corner really well once I let go drop it down on the paper that's it it's already printing I'm gonna gently rub its back here a little bit of pressure you can once you have made contact carefully flip this over I'm just move my ink flip this over you can rub the back like this or use a clean brayer to do that roll that side and then again I'm gonna lift up by the corner and peel it back and I have my first print okay so now I'm gonna print eight more times 